The 14th century in Europe is often referred to as the Age of Crisis. The Black Death swept across Europe, killing millions of people and leaving a trail of devastation in its wake. It had a profound impact on European society and it led to a decline in population and a shortage of labour. Join us as we explore the 14th century from the viewpoint of two prominent figures. Queen Isabella, the she-wolf of France, and the fourth Ottoman Sultan Bayezid, the Thunderbolt. Let us first do a quick summary of the 14th century. England was involved in wars with Scotland and France over territorial claims and feudal rights. Ottoman state was newly established as a margrave in the border areas to ensure safety against the Byzantians. Rain-induced famine devastated Northern Europe but spared Asia Minor. The Black Death killed half of England but created an opportunity for nomad Ottomans weakening its enemies to the west. England was ruled by the House of Plantagenet throughout the century. The Ottoman estate was named after Osman, its first sultan. The English and French were having a series of disputes over the succession to the French throne and the ownership of some French territories by the English kings. Ottoman's main objective was to expand its territory and power by conquering lands from the Byzantium Empire. In England, Chaucer was one of the first writers to use English as a literary language instead of French or Latin. And Yunus Emre was one of the first known poets to have composed works in spoken Turkish rather than Persian or Arabic. The use of infantry and archers became more effective and important than the use of knights and cavalry. This was due to the introduction of new weapons such as the longbow, and the first standing army in Europe since the fall of the Roman Empire called the Janissaries. Isabella of France married Edward II of England when she was 12 and he was 23. It was a political alliance arranged by their fathers to end the conflict between England and France over Gascony. Edward ignored his wife Isabella and her family in favour of Piers Gaveston. Edward gave Gaveston gifts, titles and privileges and entrusted him with important tasks. This caused resentment and jealousy amongst other barons who saw Gaveston as a threat to their power and influence. The barons forced Edward to agree to various ordinances that limited his power and banished Gaveston. He was exiled three times but always returned with Edward's support. He was finally captured and executed by a group of barons in 1312. He was beheaded near Warwick Castle and buried at King's Langley. His death caused Edward to seek revenge on his enemies and plunged England into civil war. Edward appointed another favourite, Dispenser the Younger, who became his new confidant and possible lover. They confiscated the lands and estates of many barons who had opposed them and treated them unjustly and harshly. Isabella was unhappy with her marriage to Edward as he had neglected and humiliated her. When she was sent by Edward to negotiate a peace treaty with her brother Charles IV of France, she refused to return to England until the dispensers were removed from power. She met Roger Mortimer in Paris, who had escaped from the Tower of London. Isabella and Mortimer began a passionate affair. They also plotted to overthrow Edward and the Dispensers. 
Isabella and Mortimer invaded England in 1326 with a small army of mercenaries. They landed in Suffolk and were joined by many English nobles. They marched towards London where they executed Dispenser the Elder. Edward and Dispenser the Younger fled westward but were captured in Wales. Parliament is summoned and disposed Edward II and proclaimed his son Edward III as the new king. Dispenser the Younger was accused of high treason and executed. Edward was imprisoned at Barclay Castle where he died under suspicious circumstances. Isabella and Mortimer ruled England as regents for Edward's young son Edward III. They were unpopular because of their lavish spending and possible involvement in Edward's death. In 1330, Edward III decided to take control of his own government. He held a coup against Isabella and Mortimer. Mortimer was captured and executed for treason at Tyburn. Isabella was spared but imprisoned for two years. In 1328, Charles IV of France died without any sons or brothers. Charles' closest male relative was his nephew Edward III of England, whose mother, Isabella, was Charles' sister. Isabella claimed the throne of France for her son, but the French nobility rejected this. This started a series of conflicts between England and France that lasted 116 years. Isabella died in 1358 and at her request buried with Edward's heart which was placed into a casket 30 years before. The Ottomans had been expanding their rule from Anatolia into the Balkans, where the Serb Empire was potentially their strongest opponent. Eventually the two armies met at Kosovo Field. The centre of the Turkish army was led by Murad. While his older son Bayezid was on the right wing and younger son Jakub Celebi on the left. It was a fierce battle and the bulk of both armies were wiped out. The result was a victory for the Ottomans. But Murad was assassinated walking the battlefield. Learning of the Sultan's death, the throne was given to Bayezid with the agreements of the Pashas. In the Ottoman Empire, there was no established heritage system for the crown and to prevent a possible civil war between himself and Jakub, Bayezid decided to murder his brother. Jakub, on Bayezid's orders, was strangled and killed. In 1394, a new crusade was launched by Pope Boniface IX to stop the expansion of the Ottoman Turks in Europe. To establish an army, King Sigismund of Hungary sent a delegation to Paris asking for help. Charles VI of France, having a temporary peace agreement with England, contributed a large contingent of knights and soldiers to the Crusade. The Crusaders reached Nicopolis in late September and began to besiege the fortress, which was defended by a garrison of Turks. However, they did not know that Bayezid was approaching with a large army. The battle took place on September 1396. The French knights, eager for glory and impatient with the siege, decided to launch a frontal charge but were surrounded and overwhelmed by the Ottoman army. The Hungarians and other allies tried to rescue the French knights but they were also defeated by the Ottomans. The Battle of Nicopolis ended the Crusades in Europe and enabled the Ottomans to expand their empire. 
and Bayezid earned the nickname Thunderbolt because of his speed and ferocity in battle.